this and I'm going to show you things that you'll send away for. So I'm going to move the camera around. I'm going to start with key pieces of equipment. So this is the first piece of equipment that I do want to uh, emphasize on. This is called a Apogee Big Ben. For all you guys out there, what is a Big Ben and what does it do? A Big Ben. Let me get, I'll get right up in my grill, man. <laughs> so anyways, you saw the Big Ben. It was the top piece that I was talking about. The Big Ben is responsible for your digital clock. Your clock works together with your converters. Now, let me break this down so you can understand. Behind me are converters. Below me is an interface. The interface allows me to communicate with Pro Tools okay that's all that's doing right now the interface has inputs and outputs the inputs go through if you plug say you plug your uh, guitar in here you preamp it there's a preamp channel once the preamp hits then it goes through a process called AD the DA conversion the reason that AD and DA conversion I'm gonna break it down so you know what it is now it's analog to digital and then once it hits the analog, the digital becomes information in your computer. And then when it plays back through your speakers, it has to convert it back out from digital back out to analog. So the better your system does this, the better your integrity of your audio is. So higher end converters like Linksys, uh, Lucid, Lavery, um, Prism, Apogee, all these kind of conversion systems, they're more money. They're, they're well worth the money you spend on them and they will give you big results. One, for your music, if you record at home, what's it going to do for you? It's, it's going to instantaneously make your music sound better because it's going to show you the truth behind your music. For an engineer like myself, it, it's a necessity. It's not a, we should get them. It's a necessity because it gives me that microscope between my speakers to really hear what the heck's going on. A lot of times you'll have uh, converters like inside the 002 that are good, but they're not great. So what happens is you'll start mixing your bass and you can only get it so good, and it still sounds muddy, and that's due to the conversion in your system. Also in the 002, you have a clock. We were just talking about the Big Ben. The Big Ben is responsible for taking snapshots while that AD is taking place. So, in a sense, when you're capturing something, let's like rewind it like Apogee did, but like when people are doing the, you know, the video cameras way back in the days, it was humanly impossible to keep that a smooth, generated frame to frame, second per second audio capture. What this does to your audio is create space between the speakers and it really defines every last instrument frequency at that given sample rate. If you're recording at 44.1, that means you're taking 44,100 snapshots. I mean, I'm talking like if you had a camera, you take 44,100 of those a second to capture that waveform. So if you're at home and you're using your own personal computer to do this stuff start to think about that your computer was not meant to do that the Big Ben does it so well it keeps in sync the time digitally that the sound quality is tremendously bigger you can hear it a lot on the bass you can hear it on everything the high highs become less harsh um, that has to do with great converters when we're talking about good converters when you turn it up, you'll hear a little bit of harshness that we take care of. You'll hear the bass lines just ain't sitting right. You might have been mixing for a long time, but you just don't have the equipment. So even if you're a great mixing engineer, having the equipment to do that is a plus. Okay, so at Master Instrumentals or Pro Instrumentals, we can take on your music or we can take on your production because we like working with beat makers and give them the opportunity to sell music on our website and then in return if somebody purchases it it's at the highest quality so that's the service we do we take a commission off of that uh, a fair commission and that's that so let me get into you now understand your converters I meant your clock and your converters and let me explain how these these hook up before I, I start uh, you know going on to elsewhere so how do we hook these things up a lot of people ask this question yes I am in my grill the 002 has ADAT in and out when you're running conversion you need audio to go back and forth and so ADAT optical 
was invented even in 5.1 they use it and stuff even consumer grade stuff they'll use an ADAT cable it's that red fiber optic cable it looks like a like a laser at the end and fiber optic is is capable of carrying eight signals eight signals of audio so what happens with the I uh, with the 002 is this you'll go out of the 002 ADAT out to the ADAT in of this the ADAT out of the Apogee conversion back into the Digi 002 now that needs a in and out signal to work properly okay so you know that converters AD to DA converters need both okay now actually if it was just an AD converter you would actually need to go out of this into this so you know that all the audio is going back into this system and this would be your main system hopefully I did not just confuse the crap out of you so now where's the clock come into play all of these pieces of equipment that I'm mentioning have some way to get a clock signal to them. When you go ADAT in and out, you can actually run the clock signal from this. Everything has a clock in it, that's what I'm trying to tell you, but the Big Ben's just a very good one. This has a good clock, but it's not as good as that, okay? That thing's great for what it does. So that's why you buy an external clock. Um, how do I get the signal from the clock to both of these? Everything in your studio has to be on the same clock okay if they're not they're just working independently and you'll have issues with the audio that you might not even hear and you don't understand why it sounds that way because it's a technical issue that the clock is not correct and it's not functioning correct so what we do here in in the setup I'll show you from the from the software the Big Ben has outputs when you output the clock that's gonna be the main clock so we want to output its clock to everything in this studio. So the Apogees, it actually has word clock. Word clock looks like cable, like the cable you put in the back of your TV, old school, not HDMI, the, the cable. So you go word clock out to the word clock into this. When I see sync source on this, if I can zoom in, make it a little bit better of a video so you can see all the equipment. But you'll see over there, right here, it says word clock. It says crystal, which is its own crystal clock. It'd be synced to itself. Work clock means it'd be synced to work clock. AES. AES is a digital format. Let me zoom back out. What is AES? AES looks like an XLR cable. If you Google search AES cables, they're pretty much digital XLR cables, microphone cables. They look like microphone cables. They look exactly like a microphone cable, but they have a digital signal it can transfer. So why does it have it can sync to this? Well, things in the studio have AES out. This has AES out. I could run the AES out of this if I wanted to use this as my clock source to my Alesis master link over here. So a great opportunity for AES is this right there. At the bottom below the Big Ben is a Alesis master link. The Alesis master link is responsible for burning high quality CDs that are error free. The reason it's so cool is that it has its own hard drive, it has its own compression and limiting effects and for the time the L2 converters, the same plug-in a lot of people use, the L2 maximizer, it uses the converters just like the L2 hardware that Waves came up with so it's very cool. What this thing has is down at the bottom it has an input source digital so I can actually use the AES out which I'm doing right now for my converters to the AES in of this. Now what, what's the benefit of that? That means that I'm sending those Apogee converters directly in. I'm not using its converters or clock at all and it's just reading that signal. So now it should just be called the Apogee master link. So if you buy these older pieces of equipment and people don't get, they get rid of them because they, oh man, there's better converters out there, there's better quality out there. I've just made that an Apogee Master Link. So it's recording all the Apogee conversion, the, the highest of qualities. So when it comes to making beats and stuff, this is where we're talking. So let me get into, uh, that is the clocking issues. Spit if, excuse me, let me finish the chain here. Spit if out, which is, it looks like an RCA cable, but it carries digital information, clock and etc and it actually carries two uh, two channels of audio it's Sony Philips digital interface format I believe or I might be wrong but you go spit if out of the Big Ben to the spit if into this why do I do that I just told you I can get the clock source from here why do I do that the reason I'm doing that is because it's a truer clock signal I know that the Big Ben has its general